Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It is a beautiful day to make something useful together. Did you know that you can make your own envelopes? Pretty cool, huh? I love pretty envelopes and I wanted to create a collection to share with you for some time now. Making envelopes is so simple. A lot of people just don't even realize how easy it is and it doesn't take long at all. So we've created more than 30 unique envelope designs in 12 different sizes and put them all together in one free collection so you can make the perfect envelope for any occasion. So join me at my craft table and let me show you how you can make your own envelopes. So look at all of these amazing envelopes. There's so many here. This is such a cool collection. And there are so many different sizes and styles. We have gift cards. We have cute square cards. I love this one with a little heart on it. Look at this unusually shaped one. And the cutout cards are my favorite. I mean, these are so cool. There's so many different sizes from small to large, all the way up to size A10. So pretty much everything that we could think of that you might need, we have made an envelope for you. Oh, and there's even a really cool cash envelope to help you save money. Everything, there's so many envelopes, it's so cool. Now, like I mentioned before, this is a really simple project. I made my envelopes with 65 pound cardstock and some craft glue. You can use heavier cardstock, of course, but I found that this weight worked best for the envelopes. And I also use my new favorite craft glue, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. This stuff is amazing. I love that you can put just the right amount exactly where you need it with less mess. It works really good with envelopes. It's perfect for it, in fact. Now to cut my envelopes, I use my Cricut Maker 3 cutting machine, but you can use the original Maker as well as the Explore series. If you would like to shrink a couple of the designs down to cut on your Cricut Joy, you could always send a letter to a leprechaun. <laughs> now I used a green standard grip machine mat for my cardstock, but I've also included some larger envelopes like this beauty. And for that, you'll want the larger 12 by 24 inch mat, or there's an option to use, use the smaller mat as well. And I used a brayer tool to make sure my cardstock was fully adhered to my machine mat but you can also just use your hands for that. And then a scraper tool to remove any little bits of cardstock that are left behind on the mat after cutting. And finally, I used a scoring stylus to make the score lines to make it easier to assemble and fold the envelopes. And those are all the materials. This is a really nice, easy project. Oh yes, before I forget, I'm also going to share something fun that I made to add to my envelopes. It's one of my most requested projects, so make sure to watch all the way through to the end to see what it is. So let me show you where to get all of these amazing free designs over in my library, and then we will get started. Step one, get my free envelope designs. First, go to jennifermaker.com 373 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the designs by searching the page for design number 373 and then click it to download a zip file with SVG files for cutting on a Cricut or another cutting machine, DXF files, and printable PDFs for cutting by hand. I have included more than 30 designs in my collection in a variety of sizes. Step 2. Cut your envelopes. These envelopes can be cut by hand using the printable patterns I've provided, but it's easier and faster to cut them with a cutting machine. So let me show you how to cut these designs on a Cricut. First, open Cricut Design Space and create a new project. Click Upload on the left side of the canvas and upload the design that you'd like. Now, if you're unsure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com slash SVGS to learn how to unzip and upload SVG files. Now, as I mentioned, my collection includes more than 30 envelope designs. Most follow the same basic steps for cutting and assembly. Some require a few extra steps. So I will walk you through the assembly steps for three of my envelope designs, and then you can use what you've learned to make any envelopes you want. 
Envelope one is a simple envelope using a regular 12 inch machine mat. In Cricut Design Space, click on Upload Image and then click Browse and locate the four by six inch envelope. Select the file and click Open and click Upload. And then under Recent Uploads, select the file that you just uploaded and click Add it to Canvas. Now zoom out a bit so you can see the whole design. You can zoom out by clicking on the minus sign in the bottom left of the canvas. This is what my four by six inch DIY envelope design looks like in Cricut Design Space. With the design selected on your canvas, click ungroup at the top of the layers panel on the far right. We're gonna make the envelope with all the circles on the flap. Select the envelope design and pull it to the far right. It's grouped with a white insert piece as well. Next, drag your cursor to make a bounding box over all of the other envelopes and then click group on the right side of the canvas above the layers panel. After you've grouped the designs, go ahead and click the eye icon in the layers panel to hide the group. You should now have only the one envelope on your canvas. With the envelope design selected, click ungroup to separate the envelope from the insert piece. Now back in the layers panel on the right, click on the first basic cut layer that looks like a faint rectangle. We're going to change that from a basic cut line to a score line. With that layer selected, click on the drop down menu that says basic cut under operation in the top menu on the left, scroll down and select score. The center rectangle on the DIY envelope design should now be a dashed line. That's your score line. You'll also note that the basic cut has changed to score in the layers panel for this layer. Now take your cursor and drag a bounding box over the envelope and score line to select both layers. Once both are selected, click attach at the bottom of the layers panel on the right side of your canvas. Attaching these two layers together tells Cricut that you want to keep these two layers together when they're cut and scored. If you don't attach the score line to the envelope, they'll show up as separate layers when it's time to cut, which you don't want. Now in the layers panel, you'll see the two layers are attached and the third layer is at the bottom. This third layer is the piece of cardstock that will go behind the dotted envelope flap on the inside of the envelope. We don't need to make any adjustments to that layer. And we're now ready to cut the envelope. So go ahead and click make it in the upper right corner of the canvas. If you're prompted, click on mat on the next screen. And then you should see two mats. The first mat is white and the second mat is green. Click continue in the bottom right corner of the prepare screen to continue on. Now it's time to select your materials. So for the base material, I'm choosing medium cardstock and I always select more for the pressure to make a nice clean cut. And since I'm using the same material for both of my mats, I'll also check the box next to remember material settings. Now add the cardstock to a green machine mat and using your hands or a brayer tool, make sure the cardstock is well adhered to the machine mat. Then load your machine mat into your Cricut and press the flashing button to begin your cut. When the cut is finished, unload your machine mat, flip it over onto your work surface and gently bend the mat away to release the cardstock. This helps prevent the cardstock from curling or ripping if you were to just pull the cardstock off the mat the other way. Now keep in mind that I'm cutting my envelopes on a maker, so for the next mat, the one with the score lines, I'll be prompted to insert a single scoring wheel into clamp B on my Cricut cutting machine. But instead, I'm going to click on Edit Tools in Cricut Design Space and choose the scoring stylus instead, and that glows in clamp A. This way I don't have to switch out tools mid-cut, and that saves time. So once you've done that, click Apply. Now put your cardstock onto your machine mat, insert your scoring stylus into clamp A of your Cricut machine, and put a fine point blade into clamp B if it's not already there. Load your machine mat into your Cricut and press the flashing button to begin the scoring and cutting. 
And when that's all finished, you want to press that unload button again to remove your mat and remove your cardstock from your mat the same way I taught you before. Now get your two cut pieces of cardstock, some glue, and a scraper. Begin by bending the envelope piece along the score lines. Use your scraper tool to create a sharp fold on your envelope. Fold the two side flaps of the envelope to the center like this. Apply glue to the side flaps, not too much, just enough. Then fold up the bottom flap and press in place. Take the piece of white cardstock and apply a thin line of glue to the outer edge on all four sides. Place the cardstock on the inside of the envelope flap, the part with the dots, and hold it in place until it dries. This is what my finished simple envelope looks like. To seal the envelope, you can use glue, double-sided tape, or anything else that works for you. Or, the fun surprise that I mentioned earlier, you can use stickers. Stickers are one of my most requested projects and I love to make them. I have a lot of sticker tutorials on my blog that show exactly how to create and customize all sorts of stickers. A few of my favorites include my holographic stickers, which I absolutely love. Aren't they just so pretty? And I also have one that shows how to make address labels. You can add any designs from my free library to personalize your address labels in Cricut Design Space. This tutorial shows you exactly how to do that step by step. And I've even designed some beautiful special celebration stickers that you can use to customize and use on your envelopes or anything really. All right, let's do envelope two, larger envelopes. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make another envelope from the collection. So for these larger envelopes, you can cut them on a 12 by 12 inch mat, but you'll need to glue the flaps to the main piece prior to folding. So let me show you what I mean. Follow the directions in step two to import a file into Cricut Design Space. This time, select the A10 file. Make sure to zoom out so you can see the whole design. Ungroup the envelope designs. We're going to use the heart envelope design. So let's pull that one off to the side. Select the other two and either hide or delete them. In the layers panel, there are five layers that look like lines and have no noticeable color like the other layers. These are your score layers. Now hold down the shift key and select the five layers by clicking on them with your mouse. You have to hold down that shift key to get the five all selected at the same time. Now under operation, the top of your canvas, use the drop down menu and change basic cut to score. You should now have dashed lines instead of solid lines, and that indicates they've been changed to score lines. Select the envelope and then click Ungroup at the top of the Layers panel on the right side of your canvas. Now we'll attach the score lines to their layer. Drag your cursor over the top piece along the dashed score line, and then click Attach at the bottom of the Layers panel. Repeat this process to attach the score line to each of the three remaining pieces, as you see me doing here. Cut all of the envelope pieces using the same steps and settings as we did in step two. To assemble this envelope, begin by folding the cardstock on the score lines for each of the four pieces. You can use a scraper tool to help you fold the score lines for the heart. Place the edge of the scraper tool on the scored line and then fold the piece up. With all of the pieces folded, you're now ready to assemble the envelope. Take the piece with the heart and add glue to the short flap. Now take the rectangle piece of cardstock and place one of the long sides onto the flap with the glue. Align the edge of the rectangle with the fold in the heart piece. Repeat this step for the remaining three pieces.
your envelope should look like mine. Next, fold the two side flaps to the inside. Add glue to each side of the heart flap and then fold it to the inside and press to the side flaps. To close the envelope, bring each side of the heart tabs up so they touch each other. Fold the top flap down and slide the heart tabs through the opening. Once through the flap opening, open the heart tabs to keep the envelope closed. This is what my assembled envelope looks like. You will find that some of the larger envelope designs can be cut on a 12 by 24 inch machine mat. However, I also give you the option of using the regular 12 by 12 inch machine mat. Envelope 3, the cash management envelope. The third envelope I want to demonstrate is a cash management envelope. These are used to allocate funds by a specific category for the month and can help you save money. For example, you might have an envelope with cash that you allocate to dining out. So first, locate and upload the file with cash in the name. Follow the same steps that we went over earlier for the first two envelopes. You can zoom out to see the whole design on your canvas. Next, select the envelope design and click Ungroup at the top of the Layers panel on the right side of your canvas. Delete or hide by clicking the eye icon in the Layers panel to uh, remove the orange envelope. Make sure to hide both layers for this envelope. I'm not going to go over the assembly of the orange envelope as the concept is similar to the assembly of the other envelopes. Select the green envelope and click Ungroup. Now select the grid a table layer, then using the drop down menu under operation at the top of the canvas, select pen instead of basic score. If you want to change the color of the pen, click the color box next to the pen operation to select a different color. I'm leaving mine set to black. Next, click to select the score lines layer in the layers panel. Under operation, change the operation from basic cut to score. Now your envelope should look like mine. To add headers to the columns of the cash envelope, select the text icon on the left side of the canvas. When you create a new text box, the default font is Cricut Sans, which is perfect for this project. So you can type the word date. Now under style at the top, click in the drop down box and select writing. This is important, otherwise you don't get the writing font like you can see in my project. You'll also probably want to zoom in at this point so you can see the table. We're going to place our text in the first row. Click to select the word date and then use the double ended arrow in the lower right corner, also known as the resize handle, to resize the word so it fits in the first cell of the top row of the table. You can also select the word and change the font size using the increase or decrease arrows next to font size. I found a font size of 7 worked great for my headers using the Cricut Sans font. This font size may differ for you depending on the font that you're using. Now select the word date and click duplicate at the top of the layers panel. And move the duplicated word to the next cell in the first row. Double click on the duplicated word and change date to name and center the text in the second cell. Follow the steps that I just explained to create two additional text blocks. For example, amount and balance. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then select all four blocks. And then go to align in a tap menu and choose center vertically. Now with all four text blocks selected, Click Duplicate at the top of the Layers panel. Move the duplicated text blocks to the first row in the other table. Alright, so now we need to attach the text, score lines, and pen lines to the envelope layer. Use your mouse to select all of the layers, so just drag a bounding box around everything, and then click Attach at the bottom of the Layers panel. And that's it. We're now ready to click Make It. On the Prepare screen, you should have one mat that indicates score, pen, and basic cut functions. You will see that over on the left here. If you see more than one mat or more than one layers that aren't attached to the envelope, repeat the steps above. 
Now click Continue and select Medium Cardstock for the base material. And I always choose more pressure for the cleanest cut. Click on Edit Tools and select the scoring stylus like we did earlier, unless of course you want to use the scoring wheel. If you'd rather use the scoring wheel, just follow the instructions in Design Space to do that. And you'll also want to load your scoring stylus into clamp A if you're going to use that. Now put a piece of cardstock onto a green standard grip machine mat. Uh, just make sure you press it down well with your hands or a brayer. Insert your machine mat into your Cricut and press the load button when it begins to blink. And then press the flashing button to begin the writing, scoring, and cutting of your envelope. You will change the scoring stylus to the pen in clamp A when prompted. And then you'll want to continue the cut process. When your envelope has finished cutting, remove the machine mat from your Cricut by pressing the unload button. And then remove the cardstock from the mat by flipping the mat over just like I showed you with our first envelope. Now to assemble the cash envelope, begin by folding on the score lines. Bring in the two side flaps to the center of the envelope and add glue to those two side flaps. And then fold up the long flap onto the side flaps and press down until the glue is set. And then bend over the top flap and you are done with this envelope. This is what my assembled cash envelope looks like. And here's a look at some of the beautiful envelopes that I made from my collection. You can make them from all different colors of cardstock and lots and lots of different sizes. I especially love the fancy ones with the cutouts. Those are my favorites. There's just something so special and thoughtful about giving someone a homemade card in a homemade envelope with a personalized sticker. It really shows that you care and took the time to make something just for them. I can't wait to see all of the fun envelopes that you make, so please be sure to share them. Now, if you have any questions at all about making envelopes or stickers to put on them or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask over at my Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And check out my waterproof sticker tutorial to make stickers for your envelopes here. Or you can find out how to put fun cards into your envelopes here. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.